So this laptop right here is my daily driver laptop. It has been since early December. It's the 2017 HP Envy X360 AMD edition powered by AMD Ryzen. You can check out my full review of that right up here. So back in my review of this thing, uh, I mentioned that Windows Hello Face Unlock was a really useful and cool feature that I use all the time and I still use it all the time. It's the only way I unlock my laptop now and it's kind of a chore when I have to manually put in my password. So someone actually left a comment under that review asking me about Windows Hello and its security, specifically if just a picture could fool it. So let's find out. Okay, so I'm actually gonna do a little bit more with this video, because I'm not just gonna show a picture, boom, we're done. It works or it doesn't work. Um, there's gonna be two parts. So, the first part is when you're kind of inspired by um, Jonathan Morrison's video about the iPhone 10 trying to fool face unlock, except he didn't really try to fool it and get into it. He tried to see how far he could change up his face and stuff um, until it no longer recognized him. And saying what worked, what didn't. Facial hair, glasses, wigs, masks, different stuff work. So that's the first part. I'm going to do something similar. Second part, we're actually going to test the security of it with a printed picture of me, a picture of me on an iPad, and a video of me on an iPad. So let's get started by trying to see what it takes so that it doesn't recognize me. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn it on, test, show that it unlocks with my face. Boom. It sees me. And I'm in it. I'm gonna close Chrome, just go to the, uh, ooh, nope, nope, don't wanna show my IAs. Nope, okay. Desktop, so we're gonna, now let's get out of the party city bag. So, we'll save that one for last. Oh, uh, here, easy thing, a mask. Let's see if I can still return all these things afterwards. Um, so I believe, so I'm not sure exactly like what Windows Hello uses to see if it's just like eyes, nose, so I'm gonna see, I'm gonna try to position this so that my eyes are still like visible, you know? No, is it looking for, making sure it's you, looking for you? Does not seem to be working. Yeah, okay, so a uh, mask covering around the eyes, not gonna work. So the next thing we got is uh, sunglasses. Couldn't recognize you, please, uh, Can't right? it, it. See, the thing is, with the mask, it was like, huh, huh, I'm looking, we're looking for you. Oh, okay, we see, make sure it's, no, 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 and I kept trying. He was just like, nope. So, with sunglasses, it's just immediately giving up. It's like, nope, not gonna try. How about some regular reading glasses? It works. So, it saw my eyes, clearly. And so, if you, so, so glasses work, so I, it'll recognize you. Glasses. Awesome. What about another possible situation? Facial hair. Now, the see, you see, the thing is, the iPhone 10 will adapt as you go. So, if you grow facial hair, it'll still work. It essentially just re-registers your face every time. This doesn't. So, if you grow facial hair, there's a point where it's going to be different enough, right? Let's find out. So, we got a mustache. This one I am not going to be able to return. That is fine. How are you supposed to put this on? Oh! Oh, this is so cheaply made. I mean, it was like 99 cents, so I'm not really complaining. Wow, that just worked instantly. Just boom. Hey, Pierre, what's up? In. Let's, just, let's try it. Uh, let's, let's try this again. Yep, just no issues. It just goes straight in. Uh, let's go a little more extreme on the facial hair. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is so cheap and crappy. Ah, uh, it was like 15 bucks too. Oh gosh, I'm spending way too much on this video already. I look like I'm not. <laughs> I can't even open my mouth right without. Are they just going. Oh! Hair. <coughs> How do people with beards survive? Nope. Doesn't work. I'm gonna see what. Yeah, I'm gonna take this off while I talk. I'm gonna see what happens if I register my face 
with the facial hair, and then I tried just taking it off to simulate like shaving or something. Okay. So I've just registered my face with the beard. I'm gonna try signing in with the beard to make sure it works, and then I'm gonna take off the beard, see if it still works. Perfect. Nope, doesn't work anymore. So, if you have enough, fa if you start growing enough facial hair and it stops recognizing you, you should relearn your face. Um, if you shave, you should probably relearn your face. So let's get the next item, shall we? Next is the biggest item, a wig. Ugh. This does not, this is not, um, not a great look for me, but, um, that's not the point. No, it doesn't want to, <laughs> it doesn't want to recognize me. What if I try, like, coming, oh, No, it, it it works. Okay, I right, put it down. It worked. Why was it not working before? Nope, it doesn't work. So the key elements are the like the eyes, nose, and face part. So now let's see if we can try to fool this thing with pictures or videos of me. Okay, so now I've got this. Beautiful picture of my face. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see if we can fool this computer. Couldn't recognize it. No let's see if I can put this on over my face and kind of somewhat bend it to a face shape. <laughs> somewhat bend it to a face shape. Let's see what'll happen. Nope. Okay. So a simple printed out picture will not fool it. Let's see maybe a digital picture and then maybe a video of me kind of moving around a bit to be more uh, realistic, you know? So I've got my uh, iPad here. So let's say probably about here. Oh my goodness. Could it just be that it was the white around the picture? It's like, nah, it's a picture. Okay, no, 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 I'm gonna try this again. I'm gonna try, oh crap. Oh crap. So it might have been able to see my face on the side or something. So now I'm gonna try, now it for sure won't recognize me. Ah, it doesn't work. So a simple photo is not going to fool it, but maybe a video where I'm kind of moving around a bit so it's not like static. Oh, oh, so it's recognizing something there. So it's definitely doing a better job than with just the picture. It didn't work. So, what have we learned? Well, we've learned that you cannot fool Windows Hello with a simple video or a photo. It actually has some amount of depth sensing. Uh, we also learned that it needs a clear view of almost your entire face. I mean, if you're kind of like this or something, it'll still recognize you. But if you're blocking out, if you can't see your eyes, like you're wearing sunglasses or something, not going to work anymore. Um, the reason it would still work on an iPhone 10 is because it's actually blasting like light at you. It's not visible. But, uh, go watch TLD's video if you want to find out more about that. But the point being, it needs a clear view of your face. So if you have regular glasses and it can still see through them, no problem. Sunglasses, it's going to have a bit of a harder time. Um, Covering your face with like different hairstyles or whatever um, could be a little iffy. You might want to kind of make sure that your face is clearly visible. Um, change the color of your hair, it's not going to care. It's mostly about the face, but once you start covering that, even a mustache, you can still mostly see your face, but once you get that beard, not going to work anymore. But yeah, this was a really fun video to make. I learned a lot, and I now have um, cool facial hair and uh, head hair accessories. Well, if you guys like this video, don't forget to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more cool videos like this one. If you've had a different experience with Windows Hello or you agree with me, anything like that, any other questions, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.